you start off, you get dealt two cards and there's a round of betting. And at that point, and this is actually a really important concept in poker, you're totally allowed to fold. Remember when Steve Dubner and Stephen Lovett wrote about this in Free Economics, yeah. the benefit of quitting. We do not spend enough time encouraging people to quit. No, we spend a lot of time <laughs> encouraging people to stick to it. And actually, for everything that you stick to, there's huge opportunity costs involved, right? There's all the other things that you could have done. And if you're sticking to something that might be negative expected happiness to it or negative expected health to it or negative expected whatever, you're giving up the opportunity to go do something. I'm a big fan of quit fast. My theory is do lots and lots of things that are basically a free roll where there's very little downside to it. Go try out piano, right? It's like a little bit of your time. You can't die doing it. Just go see if you like it, but then quit fast. Just quit fast and move on to something else. And then if you find out, oh, I really love this. I really want to spend my time do it. Now stick to it. So I'm a huge fan of that. But in poker, this idea is very natural for a poker player because you're doing a lot of the quitting part. You're just saying like, no, this isn't a hand that I mathematically so want to play.